Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out some of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got two systems from Mad Planet Guide to check out on the workshop. I've already got them all ready um, to roll. So without further ado, let's get into this. So I think we're on episode 150, yeah, 152 now. Yeah, we did 151 uh, the other day. So yeah, episode 152. Let's see what he has uh, prepared for us today. So we we'll need to go on the workshop here. The first simulation, or oh, they're both to do with rogue planets. So the first one is rogue planet collision with Earth. Sounds pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and see um, what he has prepared. So uh, where are we? Is it all going to... Uh, rogue planet collision with Earth. Okay, here we go. Right. Let's see what he has uh, made for us here. Come on, game. Open up. Right. Rogue planet collides with Earth. Made, planet, made by my planet guy. Right. So here we go. So we've got obviously solar system. Well, out to Neptune anyway, and we got a uh, rogue planet orbit coming in. Look at this, right. So, it was a massive trailer stuff behind it as well. So, we can go all the way to where Earth is here. So, rogue planet collides with the Earth, right. So, wh where is the planet at the moment then? So, uh, rogue object. Oh. Oh, okay, right. So, this, when I click play, this is going to smash into Earth as it's coming around on its orbit. Right. So, we'll, we'll sit with Earth for the time being. We've got the moon here as well. All right, so here's Earth. Uh, put labels on. So, Rogue Planet is over there. Click play. Obviously, we're going to need to speed things up. Oh, my God. You can already see the thing. There it is. It's hot and spicy now. So, it's coming in. So, if we just land in Japan here. So, here we go. Right. Uh, and, and have a look up in the sky. Uh, labels off. We can see that's getting closer. Speed. It's going to increase in speed as it gets closer to the sun as well. Right, so let's say just let things play out. So we're traveling at a couple of minutes, hours, traveling at a couple of hours. So it's going to cross the orbit of Mars. It's quite a large object, as we can see, 2.81 Jupiters in radius. So although it's where Mars is now, it's already uh, very visible in the night sky, as we can see there. Right, I'll see sun over there. Right, um, let's keep going. So as we can see, the orbits, when we can put trails on here, you can see these two are on a collision path. We just let them get closer now. So we'll just zoom in here. There you can see that bad boy is getting closer and closer. Oh, God. Right. Okay, let's uh, increase the speed. Oh, 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 my gosh. Right. So that is on direct collision course for the Earth. Look at that. You can see it spinning. It's getting closer and closer. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right. So uh, three, we're traveling at three hours right now. And that is coming in very, very hot indeed. Let's see here. It's probably going to pull the... Uh, it's going to get... Yeah. You can see the Earth's shadow. The Earth's shadow. It's being pulled in. Right. So, it's a slow down. Uh, we'll land in the United States for this. This looks like a good spot to quickly land in since it's facing it. Right. So, that guy. Look how close it is. <laughs> oh, God. So, this is going to completely smash into that, I'm guessing. So, getting closer and closer. It's being sucked in. Oh, my God. You can see the shadow's the moon. The moon. Oh, no. <laughs> The moon's gone straight in. We'll have to view this from different angles. We can see the surface of the Earth is getting very, very close. Um, this is where bad things are going to really start to happen on the planet itself. I mean, look how close we are. I mean, that's covering up the whole sky. So, let's see if we can try and get it in really slow motion. We can see all that, all the gases are slowly spinning around on it as well. I mean, that is, that's very close. <laughs> so, if we just pause it. So, how close are, yeah. Not good. So let's just let it, play it, play it more. Let's try and get the actual collision. Oh, God. Right. Come on. A little closer. Oh, no. So close. It's going in. Any second now, it's about to touch the atmosphere of the Earth. That's so close. Right. So what we'll do is we'll quickly land just in this area here. If we look up, that's right above your heads now. The whole sky. The entire sky. Oh, we're sinking through the earth. What's going on? Oh, no. Right, play. So you can see here, this is going to be the first area to go. We've already can see. Oh, hang on. Pause, pause. We can see a collision. There's been a collision. So if we zoom in. Aha. Oh, right. Okay. Not good. <laughs> you can see straight away. Right, so let's just quickly land in the uh, US here again because it's not at the uh, complete point. It's colliding now. So if we look around, so we can see this area here, play. So you can see the whole planet, the gas giant is getting hotter. It's turning blue, scorching hot as the Earth goes into it. We can see, yeah, not looking good from Earth's perspective now. We can see a bit of lag as well because we're on the surface. We can see an explosion starting to appear on the horizon there as the Earth is slowly consumed by the rogue planet. Oh, no. <laughs> this is quite a cool uh, view, actually. 
Let's go a little, uh, which happened at 1.8 seconds. So we can see, yeah, the earth is going in. Oh, it's literally on our camera. We're going in and it's gone. So that's all inside now. So as you can see there, yep, the USA is now being eaten up. We can see the Pacific Ocean is practically gone at this point. Uh, Australia on the other side is also going in now. So the whole Pacific Ocean is going. So just let it speed up a little more. We can see a huge, huge impact now from the earth going in there. We can see it's tight and massive compared to the moon's one. Even where the moon's one has gone now. Because we're running it. The slower you run it, the more realistic sort of the collision stuff is. So... Yeah, as we go, we can see the whole Earth being vaporized up now and consumed. So there you go, and it is gone. Gone. Completely gone. So it's inside the gas giant now, and yeah, that's... Yeah, it's gone. Completely gone now. It's blown up. So, yeah. Pretty crazy stuff. And also, it already ate up the moon. So let's just see what happens now. So I'm guessing it's just going to slingshot around the sun and go. So let's just slow it up. It'd be cool if you could make it smash into Venus and Mercury's orbits as well. That would be quite cool. Probably so hard to plan it out. So let's just see if it causes any effects for anything else. So zooming out. Now nah, it looks like it's just going to leave again. So 2.8 Jupiter uh, mass is there. And yeah, it is uh, leaving now. Alrighty. Oh, we can see it's stretching the orbit of the... Uh, is that Neptune's orbit? I'm guessing that's Neptune's orbit. Yeah, Neptune's orbit has just got stretched a little bit um, from it. But yeah, there we go. It's leaving. So pretty, pretty crazy stuff there. So let's go ahead and uh, check that out again. So as you can only rerun it once. So... Where, where are we? Uh, 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 rogue planet. Where's the rogue planet? Come on. Rogue, rogue, rogue. More, uh, no. Where, where's it gone? Rogue planet system. If I've gone completely blind. There, yeah, aha. Okay, it's at the top. Right, cool. So, rogue collision with Earth, right? Let's uh, do that again. I think the picture showed it to not be a brown dwarf. So, maybe we can uh, program it to just lose it. Because when we click play, it just heats up. So, if I... Uh, Maybe lower the mass a bit. Hopefully that won't upset the uh, temperature of it. But it's meant to look like that. Because it looks pretty. I mean, it's been customised to look like that especially. So might as well enjoy it the way it's intended to be. So, right. Let's uh, rewatch now. So, so speed in. We're going to get a different angle. We'll speed it up a little faster. So here we go. Oh, that is way too quick. <laughs> right. So down to... Yeah, okay, there you go. Right. So let's let the planet get bigger and bigger. So now if we actually look on the surface of the Earth. Now we can see the planet the way it's supposed to look. So... So have a little look around. I'm guessing this was made before the Brown Dwarf update came out. So there it is. So imagine that getting closer in the sky. Oh, oh, oh god. Right, where are we? So there's the sun again. We should be seeing it any second out of the Oh, that's a lot bigger. It's getting a lot bigger every day. Oh wow, that is huge. <laughs> yeah. That's uh that's pretty crazy. Right, so where are we? So we can see the moon has been pulled from the earth completely now, so we're gonna see that. You can watch the moon actually be destroyed as well. So here we go. That is going in very fast, so let's slow it down. Slow it down a bit more. So, yeah, the moon pulled away from the Earth, getting sucked straight into the uh, gas giant now. Oh, dearie me. So that's going in. Big explosion from the moon there, and there you go. It's gone, and now the Earth itself being pulled in by the uh, big Colossus as well. So let's uh, keep it going. No escape now. God, imagine that. Just in reality, imagine seeing that. I mean, that is just crazy. <laughs> Remember, it's bigger than Jupiter. If we can get a quick comparison with Jupiter, for instance. Uh, yeah, it's quite a bit bigger. <laughs> so, there you are. Right, let's uh, watch this as it goes in now so we can see the Earth. Oh, is it past it? Hang on. Maybe changing its size wasn't a good idea. You know what? We can just manually sort of... There you go. That's what's meant to happen. There you go. Because it was meant to happen anyway, so... Right, here we go. So the Earth going into the gas giant once again. We'll get it all the angles this time. Get it nice and slow, travelling at 40 seconds. Go down to, uh, okay, 10 seconds of time now. So we can see it's been pulled in 78 kilometres a second and accelerating as it gets pulled in closer to the uh, big boy here. So, right, any uh, any second now, just a little more, a little speed up, a little slow down. There you go, it's going in. So it's like Australia and Asia are going to get hit first this time. So there you go. It is going in now. There you go. So we can get a huge explosion out of this with the new collision physics as well. So we can properly enjoy it this time. So there you go. It's been slowly uh, ruffled up as it uh, is consumed by the uh, big beast here. And there you go. It's slowly sunk in and it's gone. There you go. Oh, dear. And there you go. And it's popped. So... And then just let all that speed up and then that gas giant will just... Uh, all that heat will just disperse and then it'll be like it was never there or oh, you can see an explosion now appearing on it but other than that already completely consumed by the rogue planet so there you go the yeah the collision area is almost completely drained off already can i see this like 
a slight crater mark. I say crater mark. I mean, it's a gas giant, but yeah, you can see the slight explosion area there. But other than that, I mean, that's the that's the whole thing um, consumed already. So yeah, there we go. That's the uh, first simulation today, and probably one of the first where we've actually had to run it to get the full uh, sort of show out of it. So yeah, pretty cool stuff there. And now moving on to the second simulation of today's video. So this is a rogue planet system. So, we've never seen anything like this before. Obviously, all the systems sent in in the previous 151 episodes have all been around stars. So, it's a whole solar system made around rogue planets. No stars. Right, let's see how this works. Rogue planet system stable. Right. God, those two are close. Right. So, what we got here? So, it's all around a planet. So, imagine this just chilling in the uh, depths of the Milky Way with no star or anything around it. So, it's a stable system. So, all the orbits, the trails is probably the area we're going to want to look so let's actually have a tour of the planets first so first up we've got an ice giant here i'm guessing this is the uh, big boy of the system this is the biggest one i'm guessing this is the center so there we go it's got small moon one there we go looking quite interesting so what's going on there it's pretty some interesting surface features oh that's pretty crazy it's all the uh all the updates the universe sandbox do change stuff from from time to time because this was made uh let's check this system was from uh, oh, the 27th of the 10th, 2020. So, yeah, made quite a while back, isn't it? I mean, yeah, October. It was made back in October. Or posted back in October. So, yeah, there's been a few updates since then. So, it is going to maybe change some of the visual properties of some of the objects. So, small moon uh, moving out. So, it's just Barry. Okay, they're just Barry centers. Okay, so they're all keeping the orbit stable. One of them's got a really long name here. Um, let's quickly change the interface color so we can actually see what it's supposed to say right super frozen mini banded uh, hyper oceanic oh, all right so hyper oceanic hyperbaric sub gas mini mega giant carbonite earth like world with life so, a lot of stuff i mean it looks gorgeous with the dark spot shadow feature on it so really cool let's check the stats actually so life stats obviously not there because it's universe sandbox but yeah we'll see if it was in space engine terms yeah, you can get gas chance with life it looks awesome as well then we have small moon three, so that's also um, yeah, also a few moons around here. And then we've got this binary thing going on here. Now the Barry Center, central gravity is almost inside the other planet. So judging by the way how close these are, this is some tidal heating stuff going on. So if I click play, the tidal heating from this binary being so close to the other planet, that's keeping this object warm. 185 degrees, ho, ho. warm Earth-like world, all created from tidal heating. So there's its stats. All from tidal heating. Not a single, not a snow star's present. 185 degrees. All from that. I mean, that is, that's pretty cool. So you can see the orbit stuff. Don't just ignore that. You want to look at trails. That's the orbit's actually working. So there we go. All of those guys. Right now we take a jump out. So there's more barrier centers there. So we've got frozen oceanic earth like world two over here. So here it is on first appearance. So here we go. It's all frozen up. I think it looks really cool with the colour theme on it. The, the greys and the browns. Or I say greys, like the orangey browns, I should say. I think that is a really, really cool looking world. Okay, moving on now. Yeah, I really, really like the way um, that one looks there. So where are we heading next? Okay, oh, it looks like we're taking a big jump now. So, okay, yep. Yeah. Right, big jump. A frozen sulfur world. Okay, let's see what we've got over here. It looks like it's a uh, Titan-like world on appearance, as we can see. Venusy Titan-like thick atmosphere on it there as well. If we look underneath the surface, there you go. Oh, wow, we. Okay, it's a blue-colored Venus. Look at that. Frozen sulfur. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool indeed. So. Uh, yeah, there is that one. And zooming out a little further, I know it was a little system. Is there anything else? Oh, there is Ice World 3. Okay. Next object out. Okay, zooming in. So here it is. So as we can see, pretty, pretty self-explanatory, really. Ice World. Lots of uh, shiny ice on it. Frozen up right there. So yeah, white in colour. And then um, other than that, I believe that is everything. We can get a quick line of all the objects here. We definitely didn't see where this one was. Where's this one? Is it one of those blacked out trail ones? Ah, yeah, it's just due to that visual glitch. Okay, so we'll have to quickly hop through more again. So we've got this object here as well. RP violent colour. Oh, wow. We Okay, so uh, what we need to do here is I think we need to go to studio mode. There you go. Look at that. Okay, uh, realistic. Oh, the whole thing goes like that in realistic. Look at that. That's the nighttime side because it's all at night at the moment on realistic. That is... Studio, directional light. Ah, there you are. There's a full look at it behind. That's, that's pretty cool. 
So there's RP1, um, or RP Violent Color there. Let's quickly just change the background so we can view all of the hidden planets. So, there you go. So you can see that one has been hidden from us. Uh, we've also got this one over here. Twirly, curly, swirly. So, oh no. Twirly, curly, swirly, pearly, whirly. We've got this world here. And as we can see, um, I think that name probably uh, does state it quite well um, on first glance here. Look at that. <laughs> that does look pretty cool. So, yeah, what do you think of that? That's quite a cool one as well. Okie dokie. And then moving on. So, is that all of them, okay? Uh, I think it possibly is. We had Ice Giant. We've done the uh, RP one. Any more down here? We had Ice Planet one as well. So, I mean, I guess in like the other Ice Planets, yeah. All, uh, all uh, white and frozen. So, yeah, there we go. That does it for this sort of mini system. Planet only systems. There's a full lineup of all the objects there. So, Ice Giant, that was the uh, center object. Then we also had a Super Frozen Mini, um, the one there. Um, I'm not going to say the whole name. Uh, and then um, onto all of the other objects with the Warm Earth Light done by Tidy Docky and the cool uh, Frozen one here. The Titan Night World, the Frozen Sulfur. Twirly Curly Swirly one. RP Violent Color there. That's cool. And then all of the uh, ice worlds and little moons. Yeah, there we go. But again, a massive thank you to Mario Planet Guy for sending these two systems in. I, I really enjoyed the first one, actually having a playable system, um, which is pretty cool. I really did like that concept. So, yeah, massive thank you again to him for sending those in. If you would like to send in your own systems for this series, make sure to join my Discord link in the description. Then you can upload your systems in the uh, chat there. But with all that said and done, guys, make sure you all have a uh, great day. Stay safe out there. And, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.